Words paint images to tell a story. Add elements such as metaphors, rhyme, syntax, and meter. Oh, you've got the lyrical magic that makes up poetry. And Thursday is Poem in Your Pocket Day. You're encouraged to celebrate by selecting a poem, carrying it with you in your pocket, and share it with others. This year, there's going to be poems aplenty at an event on the Green in Dover. With us this afternoon is Taylor Collins. She is a writer and an artist. Thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, thank, thank you. you for having me. So we want to talk about verses going vertical. But first, <laughs> before we get to that, why do you love poetry so much? Um, I really have been a writer and an artist my whole life. And ever since I held a pencil, I always felt like the, the lead and the pencil was where the words all were. And if you wrote, as soon as you could learn to write, the words were the all going to come out. out. <laughs> so, and then my, um, my first real experience with a real writer my age was Anne Frank and her diary. Oh, wow. And so it was just so like, um, you know, poetry is just the way to express your your everyday life and your soul. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you have an event that's coming up that we're going to talk about and it's going to take place at the State House in yeah. Dover. Why is that a perfect building for this? Um, the uh, old State House is uh, you know very historical and it, the acoustics in there are fa are just wonderful and we're going to be uh, actually speaking um, when we're doing a reading initially um, there are some invited guests, um, poet, or not invited, but they've uh, signed up to read. And at the end, we will have an open mic. And we're actually going to be standing in the prisoner's dock, it's called, <laughs> and, which is the lowest level, because we wanted to make sure we're totally accessible. And um, so then we will be doing that. And then after all the, the readings of the poet's work, we will st start going up the staircase to do the vertical part of the poems in our pocket. Can, can you name just a couple of the, the poets you got scheduled? Um, we, um, Linda Blasky, yeah. um, she's um, published four books of poetry. We also have Carrie Ebert, who was my sidekick, who wasn't able to come today, but um, she um, just was in D.C. doing a poetry reading. She yeah. just has a new book, um, Alphabet of Warning. And um, Shelley Grable from um, Sussex County, she's um, got, just has a new book out also. And okay. so there's all levels, we oh, have sure. all skill levels. And that's why we really want the public to come because they're able to, um, the poem in your pocket is very small. Oh, and I have a poem in my pocket. Oh, you just yes, happen to have I had a poem, to bring in, a poem in the pocket. <laughs> and um, maybe one of you could read this. Oh, um, it's that's what we're going to do. We're going to have poems there in case someone comes poemless. They will have a poem. <laughs> but um, I chose Lucille Clifton because she's Maryland's poet laureate, and I was coming here. So, and I yeah. love Lucille Clifton's work. So if you want to read that one of you. Shall we give it a shot without glasses? <laughs> oh, you have yours. Bless your heart. <laughs> you are the best. All right. It's called The Making of Poems. The reason why I do it, though I fail and fail, in the giving of true names, is I am Adam and his mother, and these failures are my job. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing <laughs> how so few words can paint such a... Yeah. Incredible story. So th it's called uh, it's, it's called vertical and verses. Yeah, well, versus going vertical. Versus going vertical. Because yeah. that's our goal. We're mm -hmm. starting out like in the, in the pit, basically the yeah. prisoner's dock, and that's kind of what poetry is about. It really frees your soul. Give us the where's and the when's again. Um, it's going to be in the old state house, which is in our state capital in Delaware. And I do believe, I wore my little pen, yes, I do, do believe in Dover. <laughs> um, we're kind of an overlooked gem of the peninsula because we're not taken as seriously as we should be sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but it's in, in the um, old state house, which is a beautiful building, so bring your cameras mm -hmm. if you come. And the, it's 25 the green, it's where the, like on the green is the smaller part. Leg Hall has the big legislative mall, right. and the green has a very small part. Right. So, and what's this weekend? Yeah, this no, week it's this or, Thursday. This Thursday, 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 starts Thursday. Yes, this Thursday is April 27th, is mm -hmm. in Your Pocket Day, and um, it will be from five to seven, and um, we just hope everyone will come out and enjoy. Like fun. Sounds like a great time. Thank you so much, Taylor Collins. Oh, thank you. <laughs>